Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over a wealth of seismic activity, a bit of volcanic activity, long-term seismic swarms, pre-earthquake signals, and we end with a discovery that may mean far more than what they think it does. Let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star, where things have been relatively quiet. We're still taking impulsive M-class solar flares, and they're still failing to produce coronal mass ejections. Solar wind is elevated due to the coronal hole, and that's expected to continue today along with minor geomagnetic storm conditions. High-latitude aurora are expected. Meanwhile, we're watching the eruption threats, the sunspots, and the thin dark plasma filaments you're seeing here. Both the filaments and the sunspots are worth monitoring, although the development in the sunspots is pretty much halted. Small and not complex enough for major flaring, we will keep watching, however. But now we go below the surface when we begin with a five-pointer that struck near the Texas-New Mexico border. We'll wait for some details, but that could be a frack quake. Mount Etna, covered in snow, but she's painting the white landscape with reds and blacks right now. Gorgeous eruption from Italy's most entertaining volcano. And then the top seismic news. East African Rift Swarm not only is continuing, but hit magnitude 6 yesterday. It's the biggest one yet. Folks, nearly 300 earthquakes have hit this little area since Christmas. Compare that to just 31 that had struck since the year 2000. But it's not the only uptick swarm in the world right now, where they say Greece is moving from seismic events to continuous harmonic tremors. 70% chance that's due to magma motion. Despite a lesser seismic foretelling thus far, Santorini is the biggest concern short term. And it's just a little sidestep to earthquake forecasting. Here they're solidifying the newer and less published correlation between radon ground release changes and earthquakes to come. Those big shakes really snitch on themselves beforehand. In our top story today, folks, the solar system shift has detailed Jupiter's changes dramatically, with our firm conclusion being that Jupiter's magnetic field is shrinking and weakening like the rest of the solar system. Here, while it is a masterclass in academically downplaying the new observations as just an adjustment with new data, the fact is that we've been measuring Jupiter's magnetic field for several years, and it turns out it's now much smaller than they thought. They will tell you they were just wrong before. They weren't. This is a confirmation that Jupiter's evidence does indeed point to its shift, its changes, a magnetic pole shift there as well. Now, folks, there is no doubt the issue of our magazine coming out today is going to be better than any two previous issues combined. Not only do we hit every key science study from the last month in context for better understanding, but the topics on subtle ways the Earth's upper atmosphere is changing are incredible. And that includes the first ever ObserverBot original. Several professors couldn't believe what the ObserverBot did with oxidation data of the atmosphere. It is the best way to keep yourself up to date and your ducks in a row with what's going on. And of course, you also now have your members page. If you're sick of looking for our emails, just punch yours in the box and your full access to everything is there. Sign up for our e-magazine at the link below. Let's take a moment to thank our documentary sponsor, GoldCo, goldobservers.com. They have our gratitude for sponsoring our best yet attempt to warn the world about what's coming, and part of what's coming is a step-by-step -step breakdown and entry into the new age of Earth. For somewhere between 3 to 15 years, bartering, including with gold and silver, will be a survival necessity. Every serious prepper includes metals. Consider catching up with us at goldobservers.com. And of course, observerranch.com to plan your trip to come see us. I will be out at the ranch today for the event, and then next weekend is a pole shift conference. Come see us. It starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. Solar System Shift marching on. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.